Hi, Seriousbris here, back with another Antoine to mention the new game plus 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 they do episode 210. And you can see, well, I did actually manage to hit my Bosonic and Matter Cat without any electron exploit. So this means I am not going to be using the electron exploit next episode or next run. Because there's no need to. I can naturally hit it. It takes a long time. I'm talking multiple weeks. But it is possible to do this, so that's why I'm not going to use the Electron Exploit. You can see I can already gain 6 Higgs here, and if I disable, if I enable this, I can actually go to up to 11. But not only that, I can actually get, um, I can go from 26 septillion to 3.899 non-million levels. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. This allows me to gain 12 Higgs bosons, which is huge I think or, or I mean that gets me from 29 to 41 and before I do this I'm just gonna do this I want to do one last big rip run you can see I have gotten all over to E center 60 quadrillion antimatter but I'm guessing I can do a little bit in big rip so like for example um, you can see here still 142 rewards I don't think there's much it's still 20 radioactive decays in true decay but I can gain E2099 ghost particles. I, I I think I did some ghostifies off camera because honestly, even the ghostifies aren't really all that exciting. And I can't get any of these. I'm up to E44 100 neutrinos. I can get I can get these. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Um, get that, and then I'm going to reset everything for 12 Higgs bosons. So, yeah, I this is kind of boring. I mean, this is going to raise my cat from E78 to probably E, um, I'm, I'm guessing E102, which will be, it's kind of crazy. I don't think I'll ever be able to hit that many, hig or that much balsonic antimatter, but yeah, this is it's going to be, and I don't really think the runs are going to be much faster, but anyway, it's still, yeah, I'm just going to do it here. E-102 is the cap, um, and well, you know how boring the beginning of these runs are, so I am, well, I mean, I guess the very beginning can be a little exciting, or I'll just, like, you know, with this, um, like, you can see I'm already up to 16 radioactive decays, and 125 rewards, like, I guess that's exciting just how quickly I can get up to... Like, I can get a whole bunch of bosonic watts here. Like, tw I can get up to 22 bosonic watts very easily, which allows me to... Um, I only have to wait, like, maybe 15 seconds to get the first auto extraction, which I guess is pretty cool. But other than that, there's not really much I can do. I, well, I mean, it was this, which for some reason isn't automated. I could, that brings me to something else that I haven't really... Sean Musk. There's new Automator Ghosts, and I have 33 Automator Power. There's actually still more to be unlocked, and there's Auto Extractor Ghost. Is that isn't that just isn't that just what I'm doing with this though? Like if if I'm auto extracting, does this mean if I disable this, it's not auto extracting? If it's if I'm disabling this. You can see it's not doing anything. Why? Why? That, 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 either that's bugged or I'm, oh, not implemented. Why is it there then? And then there's auto electron multi ghost, which because, um, I don't think I've shown you this, but I did get a couple of these upgrades, so actually, I don't even remember getting it this high. I thought I, met, thought, I thought I see it, saw it go up to like 57.5. Wow, 60 electrons per Sacros Galaxy, so I guess that's something. I mean, it isn't even exactly the most exciting thing. I mean, I, I, mean, I, can, I can get, I mean, I guess it's pretty exciting that I can get all the way up to 18 radioactive decays quickly without even needing to do much, but yeah. Apparently, and then there's another non-implemented ghost called the Auto Enchanter Ghost. I mean, I can see how this can kind of be hard to implement. 
when the auto extractor goes, just do whatever this does. Except you don't have to waste an enchant on that. I mean, that would be pretty cool if you could do that. I have no idea what what the other ghost. Uh, I mean, the other ghost seems like it would be really complicated. Auto, so that'd be like, oh no, it would be auto enchant. So it'd be this. I mean, even if it just automatically enchanted when I got it to level one, that would be pretty decent. And I'm guessing the one I haven't unlocked automates this somehow, but that would that would require some complex automation. So, yeah, I can see how that would be hard to implement, but we're, we're back up to E5 on a quadrillion. Most of the rest of the run is going to be basically exactly the same as... Wait, I have this upgrade. I don't think I'm supposed to have this upgrade. Weird. I don't think I'm actually supposed to have this upgrade. I never got it. I, I was at E78 with Sonic Antimatter, so... I, I couldn't I couldn't get to this. Yeah, it's probably because of how this upgrade it said 21 starting upgrades, but I thought there'd always be an exception for this last upgrade. But apparently there isn't an exception. And if that's the case, then that's a bug. Or at least it should be a bug. If it's a feature, it's a dumb one. So but I guess I'll just live with this upgrade the whole time. Let's just see where I'll be at once I get more bosonic antimatter. And again, no electronics. Electronics. Wait, I'll be doing that next run unless I can actually gain a significant amount of Higgs without it. So yeah, see you in a long while because this is going to take a long time. Okay, I'm back and well, it actually hasn't been a long while yet. I've gotten to the point where I can just get some bosonic antimatter I have E46 of it, and um, you can see that I have E362 billion in Big Rip, and then I saw this. I can gain 200 orders of magnitude of ghost particles, so I'm not exactly sure if that is the wisest thing to do, but I I want the 200 order, orders of magnitude of ghost particles. I really want this boost, so um, yeah, I can just see, like... I'm getting farther than where I went before, and I also got up to 19 radioactive decays easily, and you can see, yeah, E700 quadrillion already, and if I reload, I can get even more antimatter, E728 quadrillion, and that's, that's actually enough to get... Or if I go back into Big Rip, E370 billion in Big Rip. And this means 141 rewards and 19 closing in on 20 radioactive decays. And I can get more of this. I'm not exactly sure how many neutrinos I have. I have E4500, so this is probably worth it to get that. And yeah, I'm not exactly sure if how powerful in the grand scheme of things this really is, but it is cool just to get this much this early on, just because I keep all the upgrades. What I'm trying to do here with this is I'm trying to get one level of this, because once I get a single level of this upgrade, everything's just going to go crazy. So I better probably start um, doing some stuff here while I wait. Go back into Big Rip. Actually, before I do that, I want to get the one upgrade you cannot automate, which is this. No idea why you cannot automate this. And reload, so I can get even more antimatter. Um, yeah, now back into Big Rip, get as much rewards as I can, 141, get this, um, I'm not quite 20 radioactive decays yet, and I don't really think it's worth it to ghostify at this point. So I'm just gonna leave it be here. Let's see if I can actually get a record amount of antimatter. I could, I could seriously get a record amount of antimatter. And also, I'm gonna convert this back to W minus while I wait. Um, I'm only at E720 quadrillion, but of course we can reload and E740 quadrillion. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to to break my record. Um, 
I think this upgrade only resets on Ghostify. That's actually that's pretty interesting. Well, hopefully this is going to allow me to this faster extracting time. I still don't have this any bosonic battery. This would be a really nice time to just use a little bit of bosonic battery just to speed up the bosonic lab a little bit because that's the only slow part at this point. I think I'll I'll just come back when I can get one of these up one of these upgrades. So, yeah, seen a bit Okay, I'm back right on time. I'm actually not late this time and I can get one level of this, and you're going to see how ridiculous this is going to be. It goes from 1 times to 884 times. This means that this is going to be way fast. Well, actually, I haven't, and I haven't enabled it yet. Boom, enabling it. And you're just going to see, yeah, this is so much faster than before. This is going to allow me to just hope... I want, it, I want to get that Bosonic Overdrive going, but... For some reason, I can't really or do that at this point. But I have done a little bit of off-camera stuff. Like, I'm up to 20 radioactive decays. But, I don't know. I kind of thought this would be even crazier than what it actually is. So, maybe I just need to get more levels of this. Like, I've tripled that. So, yeah. I mean, this is going relatively fast. Like, it's... I mean, I'm doubling every, like, 10 seconds, or, I mean, not 10 seconds, but every minute, so, okay, it is still pretty fast. Um, maybe not as fast as I might have hoped, but you can see it's still plenty fast. I probably want to just get more levels of, of this, because this is still kind of low for some, you know, or not for just for some reason. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, that's still kind of low. Um, I can't get any Bosonic Overdrive yet um actually if i want i could ghostify that is actually an option because now look e2426 ghost particles and like i feel like that's at the very least it's okay especially it's, it's also another 100 ores of magnitude of neutrinos so yeah i'm 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 gonna go for this i, I want to get closer and closer to to getting all the way to this boost, which is kind of, it's elusive, that's, that's really what it is, it's just so elusive, and I want, I, I want it, so I'm gonna go back out of Big Rip, just get this, um, now I have, a, I can level this up quite a bit, and I can, I could probably get, yeah, more W plus and W minus bosons while I, I wait, and I can even, uh, reload to get it to go even faster and then yeah back up to basically e380 billion i just want to get up to the 20 radioactive k mark and maybe now yeah i can probably do this and this means i'll be getting i'll be extracting faster and i'll get the z bosons even faster so just save reload and yeah, we're back. We're basically back up to the antimatter I already have. There's nothing in photons I can really do. Like this 86 ultraviolet light is so restrictive. I can only get 84. So um, yeah, just, I guess just get more of these. Now I can oscillate the Z boson again. And is there anything else? Oh yeah, of course this up, this upgrade. Yeah, this upgrade actually is decently powerful. That's a two and a half quadrillion orders of magnitude of antimatter right there. So, do want to get that? That probably I'm not. It, I think it also helps big rip at least to some extent. So yeah, just get this and get the twentieth um, radioactive decay. It's about. I could try to push a little bit more with this, but E seven twenty five is is enough for the spins. So, I'm just going to reload a couple more times, and then, hopefully, hopefully the next, ho I'm, it's going to get slower and slower and slower. And actually, I, I have a sonic battery now. Yay. But, this will be getting slower and slower and slower, and I'm going to be pushing all the way, well... I was going to say, I was, I'm pushing all the way to E80 Bosonic Gantz Manor, but then I realized I already have this upgrade. Okay, I'll, I'll just say, I'll 
push as far as I can reasonably get to. And then next run, I will use the electron exploit. But I'm just gonna use the reload exploit a couple more times. And um, yeah, E753. What is my record again? It's E760 quadrillion. So just save, reload, and E753 quadrillion. So you can see I am doing pretty well. I'm just gotta get more of this and more of that. And hopefully I will end up with um, a good amount of bosonic or enough to get a f at least a few more higs. So that's what I'm going to do. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.